My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. I had um, this cheese filled, I think it's filled cheddi with pink sauce from Trader Joe's. Um, I bought this before a long time ago and we really liked it a lot. It's quick and easy, like seven minutes to make. So here it is on the plate. And then I'm serving it with a uh, with breadsticks. I had two in my freezer that I needed to use. I think these are from Walmart, but I threw away the packaging. I just had it in the cellophane uh, wrap that it comes in. So I popped those in the air fryer. And then we are having a side salad. On top of the salad, I have these Parmesan crisps that I got a while back ago from Aldi. And I just kind of crushed them up and put them on top. And then for the salad dressing, we've got Olive Garden, which I'll be using, and then Thousand island which um, Howard's gonna be using and this is with the crushed up Parmesan actually their Parmesan cheddar um, crisp that's what they look like so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time so for dinner tonight we are having breakfast for dinner I made cheesy scrambled eggs so I have cheddar cheese and green onions those brown things you see are green onions. I was sauteing them in clarified butter and I stepped away for longer than I realized and I came back and my onions had turned a little bit brown, but that's okay. So I just used salt, pepper, cheddar cheese, and green onions. And then I also made some chicken sausage from Aldi. Um, it was in my freezer and we really like it a lot. I just sauteed it in a little bit of oil. And then I made my favorite Trader Joe's croissants. They are frozen. Normally I let these proof. I did not today. I kind of forgot about it until it was too late. Um, so I cooked them from frozen and they're just not the same to me from frozen. Usually when I let them proof for like eight hours, they cook up to be about three times this size and they are so much better and lighter and fluffier. Straight from the freezer, they're a little bit more dense um, and I definitely prefer them proofed. But anyway, quick and easy dinner tonight and we will see you all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. Several weeks ago, I found a bunch of short ribs on sale. And so I um, packaged them up individually and then I put different marinades on them. The one, the marinade that I used for this package of ribs is this Kikkoman teriyaki sauce. I don't have the bottle anymore, but Howard grilled them for us. And with it, I made some fried rice. The seasoning packet I actually got from H Mart, which is an Asian grocery store. It comes with three little individual packages of the fried rice mixture, and it makes one pan of fried rice. And here it is, actually pretty good. All I did was add green onion and a, an egg to it. And then these are, here are the rest of the short ribs that Howard grilled. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making an orzo dish that I've made before. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. The only difference is I'm gonna make it more of a meal. So I decided to saute some chicken. So here is a chicken that I sauteed. Um, I have two boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I sauteed and a little bit of olive oil. And then I used this for the first time and it's really very good. And I also sauteed some spinach and garlic. And so once my orzo is finished, I'm just going to fold in that spinach and chicken and then also add in some Parmesan cheese. Okay, so here is dinner and I will make sure to leave the original orzo recipe in the description box. That chicken is a nice touch, adds a little bit of protein and makes that uh, dish a little bit more filling. I'm gonna be serving it with a salad and we're using our just regular old Thousand Island for Howard and then Olive Garden for me. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having pizza night. I had these pizza crust in my freezer from Trader Joe's. You get two organic wood fire pizza crusts. They, be, they come individually wrapped. Um, so Howard and I each made a pizza. This is Howard's pizza. 
It's got pepperoni. He has several different, couple of different types of cheeses. He has mozzarella, and then he has like a cheddar Gruyere mix on there. Of course, sauce, onions, and Italian sausage. And then this is my pizza. I like my pizza a little bit more golden brown. I have the same thing on my pizza, but I just have mozzarella. I don't have any other cheese on there, and I have less um, Italian sausage. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.